guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl again with another video so if this is your first time here you're welcome okay you are welcome to miss bling beauty so please do well to like subscribe and get notified and to my returning subscribers I just want to say thank you, all right? Thank you for always supporting your girl, all right? So without any further ado, let's just go straight into the video. So my darlings, my lovely sisters, my beautiful people, in today's video, I will be teaching you all how to mix your body lotion, your regular body lotion for a flawless look, for a lighter skin, I mean, so you definitely want to watch this video, okay? Keep watching this video, all right? First of all, there are a lot of mistakes. I want to tell you there are a lot of mistakes that people do when promixing, okay? Before promixing your creams, there are three tips that I'm going to give you, okay? You have to follow these tips. If you want to have a flawless look, you want to have a flawless skin, then you need to follow these three tricks, okay? Concerning or relating to promixing, all right? Guys. Sorry for the noise, all right? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Today is a noisy day. Please just try to focus on what I'm trying to say, okay? Instead of applying chemicals on your body, applying lotions with steroids, applying lotions with, with hydroquinone, why don't you formulate your own cream at home? Why don't you formulate a good cream for yourself? First thing that you need to have at the back of your mind before promixing your cream is your base before choosing a base make sure the base you're using is chemical free steroid free hydroquinone free it's just a plain base like it has a lot of moisturizer it hydrates the skin it nourishes the skin look for a base with moisturizing properties okay it's the first step and also you need to make sure the base is heavy because if you choose a light base just imagine you promising your cream with a light base you're not going to like the outcome of it all right so try to look for a heavy base keep watching this video i'm going to do a live practical promixing video now before this video ends okay i have a client here she wants me to promix her cream and i said to myself let me just do a video teach you guys maybe one or two people can learn from this video okay so my beautiful people keep watching this video you need to choose a good base like i earlier said that's like get a base that is heavy so that before you, by the end, before you finish mixing your cream, or when you finish mixing your cream, you are not going to have a watery consistency, okay? You are not going to have a watery outcome. You don't want to promix a cream for your clients that is watery or, you know, watery is not appetizing, okay? So before, choose, before promixing your, your cream, look for a heavy base. Number two. Number two, you need to check the ingredients that match. Guys, this is the most important factor. I see people promixing anyhow. You're just mixing anything with anything. That's not how we do it. In when you're promixing, try to look for the ingredients, some of the ingredients that match. Okay. If you're using acid fruit serum, don't mix it with meat or ascorbic acid or retinoids. Don't mix. You need to know what is good to mix with. Before mixing any cream, try to review, look at the ingredients, okay? Because if you mix, there are some creams that cause skin irritations. Eh? When you mix some particular creams together that they don't relate, the ingredients do not match. They will cause you skin problems. They will cause you terrible skin problems that you will be like, you are just going to regret why you ever mixed your body lotion. You would not want that, right? Because it's going to give you... When you start having skin problems, it's going to give you stretch mark, dark spots, or uniform skin tone. You can name it all, guys. You can name it all. So always check the ingredients. Know the compatibility. Know so those are the tricks, okay? Those are the tricks. So without wasting your time, let's go straight into the video. How to promise a regular, your regular body lotion, okay? I'm going to show you all the ingredients that I will be using to promix, all right? I'm not telling you the base cream that I'm going to use. There is a disclaimer, guys. There is a disclaimer. In information provided in this video, video are for general purposes and should not be considered as a professional advice consult with your consultant in case you are consultant in case you need to okay we are just trying i'm just trying to provide a perfect detailed information okay guys i'm just this is a mixture i did for 
a client and it is good on her i've been doing it for her she loves it so if you if somebody loves a particular mixture i teach you if i do a mixture and it does not in fact most of my clients love their mixtures because i know what to put in there i know what to put inside all right so guys let me start the base cream i'm going to be using is natural fairness all right um you know what guys i will just drop the pictures okay you know me when i start showing you the creams light is going to reflect and you're not going to see it all right so you see it very well when i'm promixing it okay i'll be using a uh, nivea natural fairness to promix this all right now nivea natural fairness is just very okay for this mixture it it's heavy it's not that watery okay it's at least it's, it has a a little bit of it's heavy not really as heavy as a cream but at least it's heavy okay and the base has a lot of moisturizing hydrating nourishing properties inside there so it has all what it takes for me to promix it okay the next thing i'll be using to promix this cream is it's an active i need something to activate this nivea natural fairness because nivea is too slow if you use it you'll be like oh my god i'm not seeing results what is this it's too slow but it's a very nice cream it's very mature okay so now for my people who want to lighten up or you want to really boost up your complexion you have to look for an active so the active i'm going to be using inside here is it's pimando concentrate let me just drop it hope you can see it all right i will be using it in this mixture all right i will tell you the quantity i'm going to put inside when i'm promising you know you know we'll discuss about that soon so it contains acid fruits it has a lot so just wait i will tell you after the next ingredient that i'll be using in this mixture is my bow oil bow oil can you see it that's it bow oil is oh my god noise people are just disturbing oh, so the next ingredient i'll be using is the bow oil all right this bow oil oh my god it's so 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 if you've been following me for long you know that i always use bow oil most of the time i love using bow oil it fights against stretch mark against dark spots against scars against a lot it prevents skin problems so i need to put it inside here okay i'll discuss more about bar oil when pro mixing so the next thing i'll be going in with is my vitamin okay even though my base already has a lot of moisturizer inside my client in question she has a dry skin yes it depends on you if you know that your skin is already oily like you don't have a dry skin you can skip this process but for me i'm going to put this this vitamin i'll put it inside so that when she uses this oil she's really going to glow I mean you know you know that's how we operate here 100 percent we keep it real you need to. after that i'll put my skin perfecto now oh my god my skin perfecto is actually finished but i'm going to look for a substitute for that okay i'll put a substitute for that and when i'm promising you're going to see it you're just going to see everything i seen so guys without any further ado let's just go straight into the video all right let's just go straight into so guys let's get started okay i'll be using nivea natural fairness as my base like i earlier said it gives your skin a fairer and even toned skin it's for all skin types this is a 400 ml okay but i'm going to be using 200 ml please if possible just look for a pen and write right uh, right don't put everything okay if you want to lighten up your skin then this video is for you because i'm going to be activating it so the next thing i'll be adding is this pimang pimangdu concentrate okay if you've been following me for long you should know a lot about this concentrate it's very good in lightening it is made up of fruit acid it lightens up the skin it helps to eliminate dark spots as well so guys i want to show you guys how to identify the original pimangdu okay because there are a lot of fake products in the market when you buy it open it open like i've just done you see on the bottle pimang pimang from the top to the end i've seen pimang make sure you see this on the bottle peel off everything and then down beneath the bottle you see do there 
okay it is written piment do on the bottle if you don't have that on your bottle know that you're using the fake product okay sorry you're using the fake product so i'm going to be putting three tablespoons of this wonderful serum inside it's going to lighten up it's going to really help in activating this natural fairness I um, will use everything because three spoons is just everything okay that's for people mixing like maybe if you get the big size you can use three spoons and the rest but you can use everything okay in 200 ml body lotion it contains vitamin E and C as well acid fruits it has essential oil you know it's really going to brighten up your skin so Put everything, just put every single bit of it, all right. As you can see, I've put everything, guys. The next thing I'll be adding is this aloe vera gel. Okay, before adding it, I want to mix this first. So keep watching this video. I need to mix to avoid crumbs. Okay, remember, I don't have a mixer, so I need to mix in mix every step very well to avoid crumbs okay remember it's for a client it's not for me i need to do my best you know she loves everything about this this is something that i've been doing doing uh, doing i've been promising promising this cream for her for over a year now so it really it's really good on her skin so that's the reason i did a review on this aloe vera gel okay it really moisturizes the skin it repairs the skin i'm putting it inside here because i i don't want uh, like skin problems it's going to help to repair my client's skin and also prevent sunburn okay this cream can be used just at night she's going to use it only at night okay but if she wants to use it during the day what she normally does is that she uses this in the night then i have another moisturizing cream that i do like i promix for her to use during the day okay that's to avoid avoid sunburn if you see this client's skin is really really growing it's very nice oh guys so the next thing i'll be adding is this wonderful carotone brightening oil okay carotone brightening oil it has a formula rich in b carotene to lighten your skin i'll put two spoons of it it provide it provides protection against uv and sun rays it's rich in collagen for a younger skin okay so guys this thing is very very necessary in this mixture do well to mix very well okay i really love carotone brightening oil so much so i'll be going in with this vitamin e okay remember nivea already has a lot of moisturizer inside so i'm just putting just i'll just put a little bit of it all right just to give that glow on my client's skin you know she has a dry skin so putting in this moisturizer this oily stuff this oily serums is very necessary so after mixing i'm just going to oh my god it's like a I did something offline. I put bow oil offline. Sorry, what am I even saying? Oh my god. Sorry guys. I didn't I forgot to record bow oil. Okay. So do well to put two tablespoons of bow oil in this mixture. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. All right. I'm so so sorry. for watching i hope you found this video helpful okay please do well to like subscribe and get notified all right see you in my next video bye bye i love you all